If you're an emerging biomedical or behavioral researcher, consider applying for our Early Career Reviewer Program. The Center for Scientific Review at the National Institutes of Health developed this program to help you jumpstart your career by giving you some experience reviewing grant applications. Early Career Reviewers, or ECRs, get an insider's view of the NIH grant application review process. They develop skills needed to be expert reviewers. They network with distinguished scientists and they enrich the pool of future NIH reviewers. The feedback from our ECRs has been impressive, but don't take my word for it. Let's listen to what they have to say. I would say it was an awesome experience in terms of thinking about grant proposals, preparing grant proposals and how they review, and also meeting some of the key people, or some of the key sort of movers and shakers in the field. Anybody who's junior faculty has got to sign up for this thing because it's an eye-opening experience. I thought it was incredibly beneficial and a great way to sort of ease your way into the peer review process at the NIH. How hard was it to review the applications? I think it's natural to feel nervous about reviewing grant applications because it is such an important job, but I do feel that I had sufficient training from my previous experiences as well as my current position to actually review the grant applications. And I was assigned grant applications that were within my area of expertise that I felt very comfortable reviewing. After you get the first one done, you kind of feel like, yes, I am definitely qualified to do this. What was the review meeting like? The spirit of the meeting was very positive, and that was a surprise because you might think that people argue about a proposal, but it was very positive. There was discussions among panelists. But the whole concern of the panel is to identify good science and also provide constructive feedback. Participating in this program really helped me appreciate the difficult task reviewers have, making sure that good decisions are made that really promote the science. They have open minds and try to get as much information as possible. So each of these applications they review and make sure that they understand what investigators have in mind when they apply for funding. The thing that impressed me the most was the consistency I heard in terms of the reviews. Despite the fact that the reviewers had diverse backgrounds, expertise, and even disciplines, there seemed to be a great amount of consistency in how grants were being reviewed and discussed. And I just think it confirms the objective nature of the scientific process that we're all striving to achieve. What did you learn about peer review? In this climate of funding, writing a strong proposal with strong written impact, significance, and innovation is extremely important for assistant professors, for young investigators like myself. I believe this program really helped me understand how to strike balance between details and significance and other parts of the proposal and how to present my ideas. You really need to be able to communicate why what you're doing is important and why it should therefore be of utmost priority to the folks in that room. Uh, you know, these are people that are coming from very different backgrounds, and you really need to be able to convince uh, certainly the people who reviewed your grant directly, but then really everybody else in the room, that this is something that is worth putting money into. And so to me, more than anything, it was simply sell what you're doing, explain why it's important. How do you think being an ECR will help you? The best thing about being an early career reviewer was hearing the conversation around how grants are reviewed in terms of criteria for the investigator or the investigator team, significance, innovation. All of that was really good for me because I've never achieved an NIH-funded grant before. So I think the best part is that it will help me with future grants because now I have a good idea of what people are looking for. I think having the opportunity to actually experience the review process will help my career because it will help me become a more effective grant writer. I understand now what our target audience, which is the grant reviewers, what they're looking for and what the scoring criteria are and how grantsmanship can really be important for them to get your message. And so I think that this program will really help me succeed at getting a grant. 
I had an opportunity to meet a whole bunch of different folks from different backgrounds, different areas, different institutions. Being able to listen to grants being presented from the perspective of the reviewers in all these different fields was really valuable in terms of getting an idea of how to properly form your ideas so that they can be communicated to folks who don't necessarily know your branch of research particularly well. Who should apply and how do you apply? We are looking for researchers who have a faculty position or equivalent, who have an active, independent research program, who are published in peer-reviewed research journals and have not yet reviewed for NIH. You don't necessarily need to have NIH or equivalent funding. Visit our website at www.csr.nih.gov and apply online. We want to hear from you and help jumpstart your research career. I think it's invaluable for junior scholars like myself. I think it's invaluable for minority ethnic junior scholars, again, people who are trying to make their way into the pipeline. So I hope more individuals like myself can take advantage of it. In this day and age, you really do have to take your career into your own hands.